welcome learners to this session of english b honors part 1 paper 1 the topic today is is the theater under charles 1 in this session we'll be taking up philip messenger john ford shirley today only philip messenger philip messenger was born in 1583 his father a member of an old wiltshire family as customary he became while a boy page to the earl of pembroke and wilton and is said to have been queen elizabeth's messenger on several occasions he is believed to have had a part in preparing both henry the 8th and two noble kinsmen he did a good deal of collaboration he is at his best in dramatic comedy and his best ones are a new way to pay old debts which was written before 1626 the city madam 1632 the guardian 1633 the play which had the most enduring success was a new way to pay old debts in which the protagonist the user sir giles overreach enlarges on his hateful opinions with surprising frankness and severe violence reminding us of ben johnson's walpole the same may be said of Lou Frugal in the city madam who is a monster of hypocrisy malice and ingratitude such characters belong more to satire than to humor and rather check than provoke laughter in the comedies philip messenger's talent is best revealed in his serious plays and they are the fatal sorry the fatal dowry 1619 The Duke of Milan, sixteen twenty; the Unnatural Combat, sixteen twenty one; the Maid of Honor, sixteen twenty six; the Bond Man, sixteen twenty three; the Rainy Jado, sixteen twenty four; the Roman Actor, sixteen twenty six; the Picture, sixteen twenty nine. To the Roman Actor, Messenger looked on as the most perfect birth of my Minerva. and may be ranked at par with ben jonson sejanus the hero is the actor paris full of enthusiasm for his profession which he defends with eloquence before the senate when the empress makes advances to him he hesitates to reject her knowing fully well what that repulsion could mean nothing less than his death then thinking like an actor he wonders what a magnificent scene it would make the actor refusing the empress that would cause him to go to his death as does the martyr to the stake in contrast to this drama of sheer violence crime and tumult may be set his most classical work the maid of honor with its heroine who is the incarnation of virtue love and honor no doubt she is eloquent sometimes complacently and sometimes theatrical but in spite of the rhetoric and form she loves and suffers she is alive all messenger's plays show careful workmanship both style and verse are strong and this at a time when style and meter were being dislocated often strained and monotonous and frequently repetitive even if not inspired he is a conscientious writer of scenes which are massive and often noble we'll do the other two dramatists in the next session thank you for now